Hi guys, welcome back to your channel Technical Sahil. Today in this video, which is the 17th video in this playlist, we will cover the third and final type of reseller hosting, which is alpha reseller hosting. And in the last video, I have told you that in terms of competition, it's very similar to master reseller hosting. And friends, you can understand reseller hosting, master reseller hosting and alpha reseller hosting as level 1 level 2 and level 3 for instance level 1 which is reseller hosting allows your customers to create c panels for their customers similarly your master reseller customers can sell both shared and reseller hosting in the same way the customers who purchases this tier 3 which is an alpha reseller hosting can be able to directly sell shared reseller and master reseller hosting means not just resell but directly sell they can purchase an alpha plan any plan from you at a fixed monthly recurring cost and sell their plans make their own plans at their own pricing now if we try to understand this is in a slightly technical manner when someone buys alpha reseller hosting from you the whm account they receive will have access to the whm reseller plugin with a certain limitations as you see the alpha reseller option there because we are logged in as root similarly they will have two options two above options whm reseller and master reseller if they have taken the alpha reseller plan the whole game here is based on the access levels whm remains the same but the privileges are set according to the plans and levels so that's the whole thing to understand anyways i have written uh, the plans here Again, these are just sample plans. I have neither applied any strategy behind it nor did any market research while creating it. I have just uh, made these plans to help you understanding the plans creation process. So we will create them one by one. Like let me copy the name from here. We are already in the plans creation page. So paste the name and the space I am giving is 200 GB rest are the things unlimited except this now here we need to select this alpha reseller and the number of C panels we want to allow is 50,000 500 WHM and 50 master resellers account overselling enabled for both disk and bandwidth and let's add this plan Similarly, uh, create two more plans like Alpha Reseller Silver I guess 300 GB, yeah Here also the same space we have provided above. Alpha reseller. And 100k, 1k and 100. We need to define here. Guys, you can also do one more thing like we have defined 100k here. So instead of this, what we can do is define 100k a numeric value here but in the whmcs means the plans display we can write unlimited cpanel accounts or whatever just like i did i set a huge number uh, in my whm but somewhere i have written unlimited cpanel accounts unlimited cpanel accounts here this means that it's not in cheating with the customer just because we can't define uh, any other value except numeric value here 
and if something we uh, need we want to utilize in our plan we have already defined a space above uh, which is 300 gb so if we define a large number here like let's say i'll add if uh, if i add one more zero then before it reaches to that figure the space uh, will get logged out and full and the customer automatically needs to upgrade that plan that uh, existing plan so that way we can utilize the space without reaching the maximum number of c panels so the customer will consider as and even you can also consider as unlimited we did the same kind of things in something like if we need to maximize the execution time or input time in the php settings but we have a foundation that we can only provide a numeric value we can't uh, write except this like max execution time unlimited so we define uh, five time nines or six time nine uh, consider as unlimited means that we want to utilize the max execution time which a server can handle and can process so that way we can also write one large number here and we can define unlimited uh, here i guess there won't any harm uh, your customer will not be able to conclude that uh, he has any limitation while creating the c panels or any of account and you have unlimited number of c panels so the space is the foundation the numbers you can define as many zeros as you want but for now let's stick to what we have written here thousand hundred thousand and hundred okay so let's add the second plan and click here to add the third plan which is alpha reseller gold five hundred gb unlimited unlimited 500 and here we need to define the numeric value of c panels whm and master resellers 1500 whm and 150 master reseller counts and click add now whmc steps are the exact same steps which we have seen in the previous two videos so without any further delay let's log into our whmcs admin panel product and services and create a new group which is alpha re reseller hosting Now we need to add these three services under this category. Product type would be reseller hosting and here alpha reseller will provide the same name and module will select the C panel and click continue. Apply taxes. Four triple nine will also enable these two currencies. Here I have just increased it uh, ten times for a yearly plan. And now inside the modules, Alpha is a bronze and automatically set the product as soon as the first payment is received and click save changes.
now click on free domain tab and we need to allow.com domain which is i guess here it is and click save changes now we need to add the second product which is alpha reseller silver and click continue apply taxes four times nine and here five times nine and inside the module settings this time alpha reseller silver auto setup save changes free domain monthly dot com again save changes now let's add the final product and connect it with whm which is alpha reseller gold product type reseller hosting and click continue Uh, how much I select here, let's say one four times nine and one five times nine. And here we need to select alpha gold, alpha reseller gold, auto setup, save changes. And also we need to define domain name dot com again save changes so guys this is how we can sell uh, alpha reseller hosting and add it to our website uh, let's say how does it looks there it is i know for those who have watched the last video this would be a quite predictable but perhaps you will understand that from my perspective creating this tutorial series in a sequence is crucial because i am uploading it on a big platform like youtube where there is a possibility of anyone from beginners to advanced individuals and any number of them joining in so keeping this in mind it's also essential for me for this tutorial series to be beginner friendly but i promise in the next video what will i show you there is a high chances you might not uh, predict it already so wait for my next video and take care until then and that's all for this video i'll try to be back soon with the next one as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video